Back in November 2004, US Navy pilots on the USS Estimates encountered something strange. The object they came into contact with was fast, and due to its shape it was called the Tic Tac UFO. A UFO is an object that cannot be identified at that moment in time, and during this encounter you can hear Navy officials questioning what the object is, and this was because it was defying the laws of physics. It was made clear that whatever this was, it was intelligently controlled, being able to travel at incredibly fast speeds, dip into the ocean and back out while maintaining the same speeds, and also coming to a halt and then shooting upwards at tens of thousands of feet, and it did all of this within a few seconds. It was made obvious that this wasn't just any random aircraft that had wandered into their vicinity. You would think then that such an incredible encounter would be welcomed with open arms. After all, this mysterious Tic Tac object could be the same object that many have been reporting all across the world. Many have come forward in recent years and have reported seeing similar looking crafts, with other Navy officials saying that they've seen strange crafts flying into the ocean and then back out again at high speeds. However, it seems that the opposite has happened. Hardly any information has come out about the object, and not many have speculated about what this object is or where it came from. A spokesperson from the Navy's Office of Naval Intelligence confirmed that the Navy has several more of these top secret documents, and that there's videos that accompany these encounters. According to the spokesperson, these documents were labelled as being top secret, and noted that sharing these videos with the public would cause grave danger to the national security of the United States. After some digging though, some researchers have said this all links up, with them stating that the Pentagon knows more than what they're letting on. As mentioned, the report centers around a Navy pilot's first-hand account, and this was after he was sent to investigate a mysterious aircraft that suddenly appeared on radar at an altitude of 80,000 feet. When the Navy pilot slowly approached the aircraft, it began to descend rapidly, and within a few seconds it reached an altitude of 20,000 feet, and then stopped abruptly before fading off the radar and disappearing completely, almost as if it was fading from existence. Normally, witness reports are not all that exciting to UFO researchers. However, it appears that the research group had recovered the recorded footage from the Navy pilot's aircraft, that showed in high detail the craft shape, its extraordinary movements and ability to suddenly vanish from sight. The main establishment of the secret UFO program and the objective of the UFO researchers involved in the program was to determine whether or not these unidentified flying objects were an issue of national security or posed a threat to the safety of US citizens and the US government. It was originally believed that these crafts could have been aircrafts developed by different militaries from around the world, could have been a variation on developments for stealth bombers or stealth aircrafts. This meant that the number one task in regards to the UFO files was to determine the purpose of the crafts, and their origin as to determine whether or not these crafts posed a threat. After it became fairly obvious that the unidentified flying objects were not man-made, the issue at hand became increasingly complex. The methods used to determine whether or not these crafts were threats to national security circled around where these crafts were spotted, the technology the crafts used and its ability to be used in warfare. Using these simple metrics, it became apparent to the researchers that not only were these unidentified flying objects a threat, but they demonstrated technological prowess that could not be matched if ever a fight played out. Though many of the UFOs were spotted at random locations across the country, a small minority of these crafts were found located near US nuclear missile bases, flying through restricted airspace and hovering close to residential locations. It appeared that wherever these crafts wanted to go, they could easily find their way to their targeted location regardless of measures taken to restrict airspace. Whenever these crafts were intercepted by military jets, they would either take off at speeds that were vastly superior to the state of the art jets, or would slowly fade away and disappear entirely. This means that there was no way to intercept these crafts or even engage in a dogfight if the event was necessary. Essentially, it was determined that not only were these crafts an obvious threat to national security, 
but that we are completely powerless to stop them from performing any action. This urges the Department of Defense to treat the existence of these crafts not as random sightings and made-up accounts, but rather as genuine worries and threats that must be actively defended against and analyzed in attempts to reverse engineer the mechanisms behind the crafts, and to devise ways to deactivate them and prepare for an eventual confrontation with the unidentified crafts. This could have been a key piece of intelligence that could have greatly influenced the current US President's decision to add a sixth branch to its armed forces known as Space Force. Although the UFO program has currently been discontinued, which is the main cause for the declassification of the files, the chief of the UFO program still heavily believes in the importance of the study and the viability of his team to continue their research and gather information regarding issues of national security. Louis Elizondo, the program's chief military intelligence official, claimed that not only did these crafts exhibit behaviors that appeared to defy the very laws of aviation, but these crafts were found to be 100% not man-made and were out of the scope of human capabilities. His reasoning for this claim was that the crafts investigated demonstrated hypersonic capabilities that were described as being far beyond the scope that is physically tolerable by a human being, of whom would experience a high amount of Gs to the point that it would either be fatal or seriously wound them. So what do you make of this report that the Navy doesn't want to release any more information about these objects? Also, what do you think these objects are and how do you think they were able to do what they did? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.